So, here we are with Brian. Smile. Hi. Hi. And uh, we just left from the airport and we're driving for about maybe half an hour to the place we will stay. And this is the weather like. And this is a huge pulse which eliminates a big piece of road. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. This piece of America in Texas. In Houston. And I guess my iPhone will put like geo tag on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I'll uh, and what else to say? I wanna get a sleep and a shower. And in Ukraine right now it's like 12 o'clock and uh, behind 12 o'clock. It's almost 1 o'clock. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And it's almost 5 o'clock here. Did you get much sleep on the plane? Just a little bit, like one hour, maybe two oh, hours. Yeah. Uh, because of turbulence, because of one annoying kid in front of me. Oh, yeah. And because I wanted to speak to that Canadian guy and there was another Ukrainian woman who wanted to speak to me. Oh, what did she have to say? Uh, she's an old babushka, she wanted to come and see her granddaughter. Uh, uh, there's a phone. Helen? Here. Yeah. Helen, привет! Все нормально, вот Брайан меня забрал, везет. Да, мы едем, тут такая... Дождь идет. Я так думаю, что мы полпути уже проехали. Он сказал, еще минут 30 осталось. Ну, ждал сколько надо было тут. Перелет классный. Первый рейс такой простенький, а второй самый, самый большой и самый крутой этот самолет в мире, там А380, по-моему, Airbus, который больше, больше просто нету на 520 людей. Такая огромная хрень, 24 метра в высоту, 78 метров в длину и 74 метра в ширину, это как футбольное поле. Я от него охренел просто. Два этажа. Нет, там очень классно, он был наполовину пустой, я еще мог поспать в проходе. Ну, в этом, не в проходе, а... Ну, я нашел четыре пустых сиденья, да, и четыре, я на четырех сиденьях поместился. Там еще был Wi-Fi в самолете, прикинь. И... Чего? Можно было, да, если хотелось. Можно было телефоны позаряжать, там куча USB портов было. Да. Я телефон посадил пару раз и пару раз зарядил. Major accident at... Okay. Да, но... Да, вроде к другу. Я, я тоже не знаю, к кому, но скоро узнаю. Давай, да, пока. Угу. Okay. Hey, I wanted to bring you back this Mofi thing, and I forgot for, okay. for this phone. Uh, this... this phone is so close to dying. I yeah. Just... Well, I just thought, you know. The Mofi thing died maybe within a month or two after, after I got it, you know, after, and you, you sent me that little piece on top. Yeah. I thought maybe it might be fixable in the US. I don't un think so. Under the I warranty think, or something. No, I think what happens is the, the battery actually wears up a lot faster because every, when you charge it, every time you recharge it, 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 uh, does some wear or wear and tear on the battery. I, I think you can just change the battery. This phone's so 
this way. I've got three batteries now from this phone. Cool. <laughs> um, I wish I had an external charger, but it's not worth getting a, an external charger now because I want to get rid of this phone. to him to decide whether he wants to let you go in or not. He can be mean, he can be kind. Well, we're kind of up on downtown Houston. It's oh, I see the skyscrapers far behind there. They, back when some of those were built, they were in the top ten in the world. Uh, they're not anywhere close to that now. Yeah, of course. Mostly because of the Chinese. Oh, mostly because of uh, Dubai. Yeah, well, do the Chinese before then. Okay. I mean... The guy is building something really, really, really tall. I think it's, and it doesn't make any economic sense. I mean... He doesn't have to make economic sense because he's the richest asshole on Earth. He doesn't care. That's the oil money. So build it for me and that's it. You can hardly see it on the iPhone. Watch it. <coughs> well, I'm going to exit somewhere downtown so I can program this address into the GPS. You mean the address of a friend? Yeah. He, 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 he's a lab tech at a, at a, one of the hospitals downtown, or no, in the medical center. What is his name? Stan Bravenek. Stan, okay. And the last name looks like Polish or something. Yeah. There's lots of, uh, there's a lot of uh, East European, people of Central and East European uh, ethnicity in, in Texas. I mean, I mean, going back to the 1820s and 30s. 